Hi, kids. Welcome. Welcome to another Dr. Jonas story time. Look who we have back with us. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. I love Miss Antoline. And this is Mrs. Fern, Miss Fern, who's going, she's the creator of Antoline. And she's going to share another one of her awesome books about Miss Antoline's adventures. Thank you, Miss Fern, for coming back again and sharing your third. Is it your third book? Yes, yes. Thank you. Wow. Boys and girls, what a great inspiration she is for all of us. When you find something that you love to do or create, it sometimes takes time, but it's so worth it to be able to create it and share it. And that's what Miss Fern is doing for us today. Thank you, Miss Fern, and welcome back to Dr. Jonette's story time. But before we get started, there's a little like button right down there. Don't forget to click it and subscribe so you don't miss any of our great story times with all of our amazing authors. So welcome back, Miss Fern. I'm excited to hear this next book of the adventures of Miss Antoline. Thank you, Dr. Jonette. It's so wonderful to be back here with you. I just love visiting you and, and talking to you about our books. This is the third one. As I mentioned, the first one was Antoline's Brave Adventure. The second was Antoline's True Discovery. And the third one is called Antoline's Community Circle. And I'm going to read to you and it, you'll hear about Taller Ant. Taller Ant was a very special ant because he took, he actually met Antoline in the second book and he explained a lot of things to her about her ancestry. <clears throat> in the third book, Ant, actually Taller Ant is gonna take you through a whole process of what is a community circle. So I'm just gonna jump right in here and start reading the story to you, okay? And pay close attention because there's lots of good, interesting things in here. This book is really a how-to book and a how-to book tells you how to do certain things. We have things in here on how to play some games and also how to create some special things like some signs and posters and also how to become a member of a community circle. I am Taller Ant, a friend of Antoline. She's a special little ant. One day, she decided to gather some friends and neighbors together to create a community circle. It's a great place and it can happen anywhere. We're going to tell you just how to make your own community circle. Just follow along with Antoline and me. A community circle is a safe place where children can meet and friendships can start. Everyone can belong, everyone has Everyone is heard and everyone has fun. But first, let me tell you about Antoline, the little red ant. Antoline lived in an anthill far from home. It was ruled by a mean tyrant. One day she decided she'd had enough of being a servant and she set off to find her freedom. Antoline was very brave. It was a long journey and along the way she met many different ants from other anthills, but they were not friendly. <clears throat> she didn't give up. Finally, after traveling far by land, water, and air, she found a special place where every ant was free to be what they wanted to be, where she could happily stay and make a new home. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Antoline found friends and fun in her new home, but now she wanted to learn more about her family history. Everyone has a history, right, boys and girls? You have a history. Well, she went to the ancestry, and that is where I met her. Remember, this is Taller Ant talking. I am the ant that takes care of all the family tree records and helps ants find out about their history. In the process of, of her search, she found her true discovery that just learning about yourself, it's not enough. You know what? It's important to learn and listen about the background and history of others and accept them for what they are. So she decided to create a gathering, or it's called a community circle, where ants of all different colonies could learn about each other and form new friendships. Everyone has a story to tell, and by learning about ourselves, ourselves and others, together we are better. Together we are better. Right, boys and girls? So Antoline went on the journey. All right, went on the journey with Antoline to create a community circle. Now, let's create a community circle the way that Antoline did. We must all look, listen, and learn to connect with others. Be tolerant and share stories. 
Accept others as they are for who they are, and they will accept you. It's easy and it's fun. We'll play some games and we'll make lots of new friends. Just look, listen, and learn. Where do we start? Read through this book first, then gather your friends and follow the directions starting on the next page and have fun. Okay, let's get started. What tools do you need? You will need paper, markers, or crayons. Start creating your tools and copy some of the items here to, to hand out later. You can see them right here. Or you can see them at the end of this book. You can cut them out from the book or trace them. And what there is here is a congratulations once you're finished. You're an official member of our community circle. And there's also a welcome sign, welcome to our community circle. And there's a little badge that says, hello, my name is, and you can have kids put their names on that. Show that you are listening. Look at the person who is speaking. Repeat back what they say. Always be kind. No laughing or making fun of anyone. Clap your hands when everyone has finished speaking. And always, always be kind. We have created four games to play together in the circle so everyone can get to know each other and learn and practice how to look, listen, and learn. Game one. Let's first play Simon Says. Do you know how to play Simon Says? Well, Tolerance is going to tell you. Simon Says will help everyone focus with their listening. Everyone should follow directions when they hear Simon Says. Let's start with an example. Okay. Simon Says, put your hands on your head. Simon Says, put your hands on your knees. Did you do it? Did you do it? Touch your ears. Uh-oh, did you do that? I didn't say Simon said the last time. Were you looking and listening? There's no winner. It's just for fun playing Simon Says. Prepare to ask everyone these three questions. What is your name? What is something funny or silly or serious you want to share? Why did you decide to join us today? Can you think of those things, boys and girls? Think about it. What is your name? You know your name. What is something funny or silly or serious that you want to share? And why did you decide to join us today in the circle? If you're the organizer, you should probably go first. So you should be ready. Some kids may need to be encouraged to answer. Do you have any friends that are shy and they may not want to answer? Or some new people that you never met before and they may not want to answer right away. So you need to encourage them. Look in their eyes as stories are told. Listen quietly to everyone, young and old. Okay, another game. Now ask everyone to introduce themselves, then ask them to answer the questions from the previous page. Go all around the circle so each one has their turn. Take turns and remember, remind them what the questions were because they might forget. Everyone nods and accepts what they hear. Everyone takes a turn and thanks everybody for listening to them. Example. Okay, hi, my name is Fern. A funny thing happened to me yesterday. Hmm, my dog barked at the mailman and woke up everybody. Is that kind of funny or silly? Think of something funny. I'm here because I want to make new friends. That's why I'm here. Next, try to remember at least one per what one person said or what their name is and encourage talking one person at a time. It's okay to laugh as long as everyone's laughing together and not laughing at anyone's mistakes. Okay, so then we might go on to the game three, game three. Taking turns around the circle, everyone asks the person next to them one question. What's your favorite food? Hmm, what's your favorite food? It doesn't have to be that question. It could be any question. What game or sport do you like? Maybe you like to play hopscotch, or maybe you like to do jump rope, or maybe you like to play baseball. Do you have a dog or a cat? What's their name? Remember, you're going to go around the circle and everyone's going to take a turn and the person next to them is going to ask them these questions. Each one listens carefully to the answer and repeats it back. If there's an odd number of participants, then talk to two people. One more game, game four. Now for the last game. I like this one the best. Everyone draws a picture of someone or something they heard in the group that they remember. They take turns holding it up and describing it. Remember, always be kind and everyone in the group applauds after each presentation to show acceptance of each person by making them feel welcome in the group. Great. Do you like to draw? This will be fun. Just remember what somebody said. It could be something funny, it could be silly, whatever you want, and just draw a picture of it the best you can, hold it up and explain what you saw. Look, listen, and learn. Learn all about them and you will see new friends will soon feel like family. Okay, 
Now you're ready to gather a group. We've gone through all the steps to create a community circle. So now is the time that you can go back, find all your friends, neighbors, and new kids, ask them to be part of your community circle, uh, explain to them this will be fun. There'll be stories and games and tell them all about Antoline. Tell them they will make new friends and have fun. Everyone is welcome in your group, no matter what their age or background. Then you'll go back to the beginning of the book where I started telling you how to play all those games and tell them all about look, listen, and learn. That's going to be a lot of fun. I just know you're going to have fun doing this, boys and girls. Once everyone has had a turn to participate and the circle is complete, Everyone gets a special certificate saying that they are an official member of Antoline's community circle. Call each new friend up to the center of the circle one at a time and give them their certificate. Everyone should clap their hands because they have helped to create Antoline's community circle. Congratulations. Now ask everyone to create their own community circles with others. And you know what? There'll be circles and circles and circles. You can make new circles of friends. Many kids come from families that may have arrived here from far away, places or different neighborhoods. Their clothes and their traditions, food and ideas may seem different from yours, but you know what? They're all kids like you. You could be the first in your area to start a community circle and create a new friendship. The simple steps in this book will help you to see how easy it can be to make new friends from any background. Everyone has a story to learn about and everyone needs friends. Your community circle's just beginning. Keep encouraging others to create community circles and circles of new friends. Your own circle of friends will get bigger and bigger. Wow. I am so inspired by that book. I can't wait to get a community circle going. How about you, boys and girls? Were you inspired to create a community circle? Can you imagine if everybody that watches this show creates a community circle. How many circles will there be all around the globe? And they'll just keep spreading and spreading and spreading. What a great book, Mrs. Fern. What was your inspiration for the book? Well, you know, when this all started, it was a tribute to my dad because he wrote the first Antoline story back in 1977 to try to explain to my children all about freedom and how his family had come through so much, so many challenges and adversity to come to America. And then once I realized that that was a story I could do something with and draw pictures and bring it on to today's, you know, today's kids today, then um, I moved to the next level, which was, gee, you know, now that Antoline has found a place to live and she's happy, there's got to be more to it because everyone has a story. So I decided to write the second book, which was all about learning about herself and then realizing that she wanted to learn about other people's stories. And that was for true discovery. And once she created a community circle of her own, I read it to someone one day, some children, and they said, that looks like fun, but how did she do that? And it dawned on me that I really didn't explain how Antoline created her community circle. And wouldn't it be great to have this whole three books come to a final book where I'm actually explaining how Antoline creates a community circle because it's such a great idea. Really, all it is is really something you may be doing anyway. But now thinking about it a little bit more, it becomes more structured. You gather your friends together and you all have a little chat. And from the beginning of time, that's how people learned about each other. They gathered together around fires and, and fireplaces and they all talked about each other or to each other and all accepted each other and, and gave each other you know, positive feedback on everything they said. And that's all this is. This is just creating a circle of friends. And that's how I got inspired. Oh, that's a great inspiration. And boys and girls, if you missed the first two books, you can find them right here on Dr. Jonette's Storytime. So if this is your, if you're new to the show, make sure that you go back and your mom and dad help you find the other two books because they are really great books. If you love this book, you're gonna love the other two books also. So make sure you go back and find them and watch them. And what was the lesson you wanted the boys and girls to remember, Ms. Fern? The biggest lesson is really to learn about other people and other kids' backgrounds and not to laugh, but to be kind and to accept 
kids for who they are and realize that we're all the same. We're all, we all come from different backgrounds, but we're all people, we're all kids. And really when it comes right down to it, there's just no difference. There's no difference. There's no difference. You're right. We all have big hearts and we all know how to give and receive and take care of each other and remember to be kind. So what great lessons. And thank you so much for joining us. I know that the moms and dads are gonna to want to get your book. It's summertime and reading time. So if you haven't finished all your books for your summer reading projects, boys and girls, these are some great books to get and read and enjoy. And when you go back to school this fall, you'll have a really great book to tell all the kids about. Hey, what do you think about maybe talking to your teacher and getting a community circle going at your school? Wouldn't that be great? I think that's a great idea. I love it. Great. So where can they get your books, Miss Fern? Well, they can certainly find a link off of your show and they can also find it on Amazon just to look for little red book ants.com. Great. I love it. So go get your books and read them, enjoy them. And this fall, when you go back to school or maybe even before, you can create a community circle with your friends and you're the kids at your school. And I think Ms. Fern mentioned that there was something special at the back of the book. Am I right, Ms. Fern? Yes, Dr. Jeanette. One of the things we've done on this book is we've actually put some of the coloring pages right inside the book. And we give you permission to color in a book, which you usually don't have permission to. <laughs> I love it's it. just for the kids to color. And also there are copies of the badges and the signs that we've recommended earlier to make. So this is really a book that has lots of things to do, games, coloring, and all kinds of things. So be sure and pick one up. I am so happy to have you back, Ms. Fern, and thank you for the wonderful books and inspiration. And before you go, boys and girls, you can also go to Dr. Jonette's website and you can go to the kids section where you'll find activities and ideas. And Ms. Fern is going to send us some great stuff that you can also access here at drjonette.com. So also, we'll see you next week. And thank you so much for joining us, Miss Fern. Have a great you. week, boys and girls. Bye-bye now.